The first time countdown's number two story tonight's worst persons in the world. The bronze to Minneapolis radio yackers Chris Baker and Langdon Perry joining the list of right wing guys who could not keep the secret about why they really support Governor Palin. Perry says she's got a nice smile. She seems likable. Baker replies, hot. Later, Perry, so did you notice her high heels last night? Because I think she was going all business upstairs, and then she just went with the high heels for just a little whoa wow, hey, to which Baker says, she's always wearing some ahem pumps, if you catch my drift. And then he adds, I think she should have had a little cleavage going there. And then he adds, I noticed a panty line on her. Put the sexism and the revelation of why conservatives are glad Palin was chosen aside for a moment. If Rich Lowry of the National Review ever finds out these guys are lusting after his fantasy woman, he's going to beat the crap out of them. You heard about Lowry? Oh, a quick refresher. I'm sure I'm not the only male in America who, when Palin dropped her first wink, sat up a little straighter on the couch and said, Hey, I think she just winked at me. And her smile, by the end, when she clearly knew she was doing well, it was so sparkling, it was almost mesmerizing. It sent little starbursts through the screen and ricocheting around the living rooms of America. The runner up to Richard Fontaine, McCain's senior foreign policy advisor, speaking at a panel discussion at the Americas Conference in Miami. He cited as foreign policy experience in Latin America for the senator his affair with Brazilian model uh, Maria Gracina Teixeira de Jesus in 1957. Quote, I saw, I guess it was last week, that his old girlfriend in Brazil has been found from his early days when he was in the Navy and was interviewed. She's a somewhat older woman now than she was then, but it sort of speaks to the long experience he has had. <laughs> in the region in the most positive terms. Long experience, you say. Well, that explains why all the conservatives are treating Governor Palin like she'd just been added to the ticket as vice president and pinup model. Sexists. But our winner, Senator Joe Lieberman. On Fix News yesterday, he was asked if John McCain was going to bring Jeremiah Wright into the campaign. His answer, McCain didn't like that approach. Senator McCain feels that same way about Bray of Reverend Wright through his campaign, and that's the kind of line drawing that I think John McCain is all about. Sarah Palin's answer to Bill Crystal's question in the New York Times today. Um, I don't know why that association isn't discussed more. Appalling things, sense of condoning it, something about character. Hey, Senator Lieberman, Governor Palin and Senator McCain just brought up right in this campaign and they erased the line you're so proud of. Welcome to the club, Senator. Now Mr. McCain has even hung you out to dry. Senator Joe Lieberman of Connecticut, today's worst person in the world.